Well, I don't think there's really any such thing as a gay community because in the Bible it says in Romans 1 why people fall into perversions. And like, you should all just think a straight person that we're all here today on the earth and that uh, we can all be friends. You know, and look at the, the people that want to oppress this LBGQ or whatever the heck it is, all these transgenders and gays and, uh, you know, I don't believe in all that crap. That's just... You know. If but if somebody was you know so an American who was born gay thinks that the presidency matters and their their issues matter, what would you say to that uh, that person? They need to write the read the Bible. They need to read the Bible. Ain't but one thing you can believe and trust in this world today, and that's God's word. Tell me what MAGA means. Well, America was certainly great uh, when we valued the nuclear family and uh, family values. Um, and, and do you think that Trump espouses that? I mean, we'll take him as an example. He's been married at least three times anyway that I can think of. What makes him the mouthpiece for all the things that you care about? Um, I would say that compared to, um, compared to what the Democrats have to offer, um, I think that he is the uh, best. He is the better of the candidates to espouse that kind of thinking, as opposed to um, transgenderism and um, you know different different gender identities, et cetera, things like that. To think that a child of five or six can determine that they want to be a boy because they're a girl, or they're a girl and they want to be a boy, and that they that the state or wherever they're living has the right to put them through transformation or transition um, and the parents don't have a say. Now that's not legal in, in all places. I was going to say that's not happening. That isn't happening. I mean like that the, the, no there are people talking about it but there's no sort of political movement to make it happen for five and six year olds. Oh yeah? What was the recent pride events? What were they what pride pride they, events was uh, was gay pride that it's been oh, and and the transgender didn't enter into the picture at all. Have well, you seen their new flag? Sure, okay. yeah. Okay. I'm not, but, but transgender has nothing to do with five and six year olds. I mean, but but if you're born gay in America, you should be able to have pride. Do whatever you want, but don't don't destroy the children. I'm just saying that's that's one part of of, of the agenda, which is really bad. I'm not a big fan of LGBTQ, you know? I mean, I think they're, they're garnering a lot of attention that, that is unwarranted. I mean, they're 1% they're of the proper, uh, population. So why are we reaching out and doing all this for 1% of the population? I, I guess because it's 1% of the population. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so like if, you know, if my brother was born gay, I would want him to have all the rights. I mean, I, I'm, I've, I've got no problem if, if you want to, if you're gay and you want to wear a dress or whatever, that's your business. But it doesn't need to be everybody else's business. Conservatives historically have never been particularly friendly towards the LGBTQ plus community. However, lately, things have gotten, they, they've seemed way more emboldened in this. There's so many theories as to why this is. Um, I personally think it's because they lost the fight on gay marriage and you know it's they have to now go after trans people that's their wedge issue because so I digress. I trolled uh, some conservatives at drag story hour and uh, here's how it went. Kids are being sexually groomed in a library and groomed. you don't do nothing about it. People like you and your man. I'm not being groomed. I'm a man. How do you know I'm a man? How do I know you're a man? How do you know I'm a man? Because I'm not, on the, I'm not in your era. I'm in my era. My era taught me that you were a man, regardless of what the f you think you are. But wait, I'm how do you about your feelings? How do you know? I'm telling you, I know. I was born in the 80s. Because you're born I don't in the in your 80s. Imagination. I don't believe in your imagination. That's it. Because you're born in the because 80s. Because I don't believe in your imagination. Okay. Did you not hear that part, or you want to hear it again? Hear it again. Oh, uh, we can hear it again. I don't believe in your imagination. What age do you think that kids should be drinking? So let, let me interview I mean, you. It should be, um, so it should be BYOB. <laughs> I think. BYOB. You know what? Just um, bring your own bottle for the children's, for drag story hour at least. And you're lucky it don't hook up on you because it's cost behind me because I definitely would have broke your glasses. Say some weird shit like that. Bring your own bottle to a kid event? Wait, did you know that drag story hour is mandatory? It's like jury duty, right? No, it's not. It's Wait. jury duty for you. Should Bud Light be available in um, the children's libraries or should it be like a BYOB thing? <laughs>
I think you've got the wrong person. So you're wearing a Black Lives Matter shirt. I know that. So Black Lives Matter? <laughs> all Lives Matter. So it's a guy wearing a Black Lives Matter shirt that says All Lives Matter. I wore a Black Lives Matter shirt today because I wanted to blend in nicely while I was capturing footage. I was trying to Thank blend you. in too. I wanted to infiltrate <laughs> the, um, the radical left. Did you? The radical intolerant left. Do you have a thing of Donald Trump on your phone? Yeah, that's because look at that. He supports my movement. Who did you vote for in the last election? Donald Trump. Uh, who won the last election? <laughs> Donald Trump probably got more votes, but Joe Biden won the election. Joe Biden won the election, but Donald Trump got more votes. How does that work? You, I, it doesn't work. And we're not advocating for the pub Republican Party, for the record. But you don't support the Republican Party? No, I am. A, well, I'm a Republican. I'm a gay man. Okay. And uh, what age did you, like, know that you were... I was very young. What, like, indoctrination brought you to that? Well, I'm still gay. Was it school curriculum? Can we just fast forward to the part where you're trying to make a point about how little kids who are transgender know that they're transgender? It's become a trend to tell people who are confused that they're trans and then put them on medication and puberty blockers. Is that what they're doing at Drag Story Hour right now? Do you think it's appropriate for grown men to go in front of children with signs on their chest saying, I don't want to look or be cis? And that's the message that's being sent to toddlers. Well, first of all, this is voluntary. So if I was a parent and I brought my kid to this and there was that, I'd be like, maybe this isn't for me. It's not voluntary when it's in schools. It's the essence of the parents. This is choosing. not voluntary. No, this is voluntary. It's, everyone, it is not voluntary. Attendance at Drag Story this Hour is, is not voluntary. voluntary for the third time. It is not voluntary when they have these programs in schools. <laughs> these people, they're not identifying as gay. They're not identifying as lesbian. They're identifying as non-binary, gender fluid, gender queer. Yeah, they're, they're viewing as pan, and they're, they're looking at gender as fluid. They're looking at sexuality as something that's fluid. That's, and that's totally, so how many genders are there? What? How many genders? Uh, genders uh, construct. As many, as many people there are in this world, that's how many genders there are. So it's like, it's something we made up. You made it with something we made up. Are you part of the LGBTQ? It seems like there's this huge right wing push to put gay people back in the closet. What? By who? Their, First their, of all, I never their, their identity, Trump. their identity, their public identity is deemed more sexual. It's right. the children. What about the children? Apparently, Children are just cutting their genitals off. They're taking these drugs that immediately give them osteoporosis. <laughs> and this is all happening like immediately. It's not like a decision made after several years. So several things. First of all, for most children under 18, they require parental consent for any kind of medical intervention. And unfortunately, a lot of parents actually don't support any kind of medical intervention. So there's that. The number of children who are undergoing any medical intervention is very small. It's tiny. I don't know how, I don't know if anyone has an accurate number, but it's a tiny, tiny number of people. Most of the medical intervention is actually neutral. Things like beta blockers, which basically prevent the onset of puberty and secondary sex characteristics, which enable that individual to make a decision for him or herself when they reach the age of 18. Almost no one under the age of 18 gets any form of sex reassignment surgery. Almost no one. It is so rare that I don't think we even have a statistic. According to them, if one person did it, it's like a national tragedy. They consider sex reassignment surgery in any form a national tragedy, even for a, an adult who is actively seeking it. They're going after children because uh, they're playing on this transphobic fear that somehow hundreds of thousands, if not millions of children are going to uh, undergo sex reassignment surgery. Sex reassignment surgery in any form is incredibly rare for children. It's actually not that even that common for adults. Many trans people have social transitions in which they have no medical intervention. Others may undergo hormone replacement therapy, but not sex reassignment surgery. So even among adult trans people, sex reassignment surgery is not as common as people think. And even then, it's mostly with those going from male to female. For those going from female to male, it's actually quite rare to undergo phalloplasty, and that's adults. I don't know of a single case of that uh, with children. The most common medical intervention is a neutralization. Puberty blockers, uh, with parental consent, enable a child to delay the onset of puberty so they can decide when they reach the age of 18 what they want to do. The ultimate 
value here is bodily autonomy. And it is no coincidence that these same people who are coming out here to try to disrupt Drag Story Hour are... Uh, against bodily autonomy. Rabidly against reproductive reproductive rights and women's rights. So the person you just saw in the video is Dr. Pauline Park. The person is an icon, transgender activist. Amazing. I, I can't say enough about her. And she is very on point. The conservatives lost the fight for gay marriage. It's not, you know, it's socially acceptable in most circles to just be anti-gay, right? So being anti-trans, a little bit more socially acceptable, right? You have more of an excuse because it's trans, it's children, it's this, it's, you know, uh, blockers and what about the children, all of that. When really it's, it's a great way to just hide an anti-gay agenda, anti-LGBTQ plus agenda. So thank you, Dr. Pauline Park. And uh, yeah, it is a little terrifying how emboldened the uh, right has become of late. I, it has felt like we've went back 30, 40, 50 years with regards to you know, the rhetoric being espoused as if, you know, being gay is and queer, trans, it's just a fad that you'll like grow out of. That's not dangerous ideology at all. And I try to impress that upon the um, gays for DeSantis, gays for Trump that I was speaking to in that original video, so, whew. Oh my God, these are like, I love them. They're the best fascists you'll ever see. And they're like the best. When does life begin? When does life, life begins at ejaculation. No, life begins at erection. Life begins at erection. Life begins at erection. So when do we get right? Wait, here, tell them when life begins. When do we get right? Life begins when you first find a letter from your true love in the sixth grade and you think maybe, maybe she is the one and you may never actually touch this woman but a life has begun in your heart and we have to protect that when, life. When does life begin? Going on between your ears life, or? um, when do life, begin? When do we get right? life, oh, when do, yes. Yeah, when do this, this right? man right here, he is when right. When do we get yeah. right? He, he is, straight white Christian men are the most oppressed people in religious. America. Okay. Oh I'm my God, religious. if you see a straight white man, please give them a hug. I'm not please just give him a nice, hearty So when, when do we get rights? What? When do we get when, rights? Yes, that is a great question. Yeah, yeah, when do know. straight but, I mean, white men get rights? When do we do it? When does it end? No, 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 oh my God! Oh my God! Oh. Why are you oppressive? Stop it! Stop it! Uh, but, um, did you see what Antifa just did? Ah, uh, yes. The tragic oppression of straight white men in America. They flew a pride flag right over there on those, on those poles, underneath the American flag. I can't fly my flag there for a whole month. Well, you, what, what flag would you want to put up there? A Christian flag or, or uh, white men count too. Do you feel that, that white men are being marginalized in, in the absolutely, country? Absolutely, absolutely. Really? Yeah. And what, what's, what's, what's an evidence of that? What's evidence of that? Oh, come on, man. Well, just like an example of one example of it. Well, the example of what we were just talking about. What, you know, the BLM, uh, Black Lives Matter, Women's Lives Matter. But what about older white men's? Our, our lives matter too. But don't worry, straight white men. Candace Owens is here to give you some advice. What's the best advice you could give a straight white male just trying to get through modern day America? This is honestly like the realest question I've ever been asked. <laughs> this, should, this is the question that was probably asked by black Americans anywhere as they came together during times of Jim Crow. And now suddenly it's like, gosh, I, I better just problematize myself. And you have literally white people that are pretending to be gay or something on their college apps just so people are like, oh, there's something, you know, there's something different about them. So now I'll let them into school. And it's openly saying we don't want you because you're a white male. Um, so I first want to validate this question 100%. 
percent because I mean I just did Dr. Phil. I was sitting around with professors that were saying that they will not allow people into their school if they're white, right? Because it's just problematic to be white. Bless the fact that we live in this country and that you can be entrepreneurial and you can start your own businesses and you don't have to worry about what other people think about you or whether or not they like you. The second thing is that right, stop apologizing would be the first thing that I would say. Stop apologizing when you do nothing wrong. Candace Owens works so well for white people that meet one black person and say, that's it. All black people are like this. Pretty much, right? I mean, people go, oh, there's there's black conservatives. Yes, black people are varied and you know, diverse a group of people. Not all of them are the same. I'm like, <laughs> Candace Owens for white people. It's just basically saying, oh, you've you've done nothing wrong. Your grandparents did nothing wrong. Your great grandparents, they didn't even do anything wrong. You know what? Just no, no one has to change or do anything. And also we should love the cops more. God, they just eat it up. It's, it's amazing. I, whew, Clandis Owens. I don't, I kind of wonder like who is more racist? Like who says the worst thing? I think she's probably one of the worst. She says stuff that is absolutely, whew. and I, you know what, if this were 10, 20 years ago, I would say, you know what, this is just some, I mean, she is a grifter, but, but I would say, oh, she's just, you know, playing the game, right? I honestly think she actually believes this. Like these people now, they actually believe it. Like, ooh.